Thank you, President Mittman. <laughs> Faculty, staff, alumni, family, friends, and my fellow class of 2024, good morning. Or as we say in Jamaica, wagwan. <laughs> when I first heard about this speech, I was so excited, I scribbled two pages of notes. But if you had asked me just five years ago if I would go to university, my answer would have been a big question mark. I could regale you with my tales of my journey to Kettering, but today is not a pity party. Today, I celebrate not because I will be receiving a degree from this esteemed institution, nor because I will no longer have my ritual fifth week breakdown in student affairs, I celebrate today because I solved every challenge Kettering presented, and so did you. Case in point, a year ago, I embarked on a dream to study abroad in Germany. It was a plan in motion since I came to Kettering. The plan was to go to Germany with friends, travel on weekends to different countries, and live our best European lives. But as you might expect, things did not go according to plan. Yes, I went to Germany and traveled to 17 countries, and indeed, I did live my best life. <laughs> but I did it all alone. That might seem brave to you, but being the youngest in my family of six, I was never alone. So every day in Germany was a challenge to get up and face my fears. One weekend took me to Amsterdam with a backpack and faith that I'd make it before the transportation strike in Germany. I think that day I ran out of luck because my train ended abruptly in northern Germany. At this point, it's important to share, I have panic attacks when things don't go according to plan and I've never taken the train before this trip. So as you can imagine, I'm in this random train station trying to figure out if I should return home or continue my journey. Amidst the whirlwind of confusion in my mind, I opted to continue the journey. And with the help of my friend back home in Jamaica, we mapped out a plan to get me to Amsterdam. I still remember the breath of relief when I got to the last train in Amsterdam and realized I did not panic. And it was in that moment it dawned on me, everything is solvable. Though my story crosses geographical borders, it embodies my Kettering experience through an internal landscape of fear and resilience. Many of us at some point needed to deviate from our plans, whether it was change or, changing our majors or dropping a class that is required for our degrees. We needed to change our variables as the equation was no longer the same. In those moments, the fear of not graduating on time tested our resilience and adaptability. But if you take a moment to look around, you will see. You are not alone in those moments. You have built a supportive community of family and friends who have been there to listen along the way. As we sit here, remembering the journeys we embarked on as freshmen with no prior experience, we must embrace that every challenge Kettering presented is now solved. Now, let's express our deepest gratitude to those who supported us on our ways here. Professors who stayed late, families who believed in us from miles away, friends who provided notes and direction, and of course, coffee for being there when sleep wasn't. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey and showing us that life is not meant to be done by ourselves. And just like that, we're faced with the famous two-worded question, what's next? Some of us may have it all planned out like our math syllabus, or others may be as blank as the beginning of our COM 101 paper. But whether you are finding a job, pursuing higher education, or taking a break to figure it all out, remember, the path to success is not linear. It's more like our campus Wi-Fi. Sometimes strong, other times you need to find the right corner to make it work. 
But whether, but whatever you do, in the words of Charles Kettering, believe and act as if it was impossible to fail. Take these experiences, relationship, and courage you have built at Kettering and move forward with resilience and adaptability as we are all equipped to change the world. So today, graduates, I dare you to seize every opportunity that comes your way. Let this newfound confidence steer you through these new experiences. Whether you choose to start your own business or embark on a solo journey, I challenge you to champion the journey. After all, we are Kettering Built.